Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, as you guys don't know, I was on vacation and I went to Disney. And I uh, actually, you might know if you follow my Twitter, but I went to Disney and I got six dolls. And um, I'm unboxing two of them in this video, and the other four I'm not unboxing. I'm thinking I'm gonna make a TikTok about those, but it was the creative soul collab and i got it actually signed by the photographers at creative soul i got all four of them signed by them so i thought it was pretty cool so yeah without further ado um as you know because you probably read the title we have the disney store dolls uh aurora and tinkerbell and i got these in the parks which makes it kind of a little bit extra special but there are seven extra dollars in the parks so only like 19.99 on shop disney but in the parks, they're twenty six ninety nine, which is kind of like, what was the reason? You know, my face is kind of acting up a lot because of Disney. It's, it was not like this before, I promise. But yeah, so I got Tinkerbell and Aurora because I figured they, I thought I love Aurora and I love Tinkerbell. I was gonna get Cinderella because it just makes sense. There's Cinderella Castle, this that, but she has like the oven mitt gloves, and I'm pa not paying twenty seven dollars for that. I'll pay twenty dollars for that. So without further ado, let's start with. We'll start with Tinkerbell because I love Tinkerbell. I don't know. She's just so slay. So we have the box. This is a plastic packaging. It's got a picture of Tinkerbell, a picture of her brush. It says doll brush included. Um, it says Peter Pan because technically she's not a princess. She's not in the princess lineup. Um, but she's included all that stuff. It's got like the boat, I'm guessing, from like, you know, Neverland or whatever. It says Tinkerbell. I don't know if it's said already. It's got these. Oh, it's got the dandelions because Tinkerbell like is born from a dandelion. It's got a third yarn and a spool and it's got Tinkerbell there and dandelion fuzz and it's, it has her here. Yeah. And then on the back it says Peter Pan Tinkerbell includes doll and brush and it's got like a picture of her and all that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open her up and take a, oh, she just fell out. Oh, I didn't think that was going to happen actually. Well, here's the inside of the box. Oh, that's cute. On the top it says Peter Pan, and then there it has, like, the beach. So I guess these are made to where you can kind of, like, use them as a, um, display or whatever. I don't have room for that. I'm not doing that. It's just a piece of cardboard anyways. And then this is what's in there. So it's her, and it's, like, she's inside of all these flowers. And you just unlatch this, and you can open it up. And then inside of there, there she is with her brush. So let me go ahead and get her out. All that she's held in there with is this piece of cardboard on the bottom. And then there's a plastic tie around her neck. Or it's not even plastic, it's like, um, I don't know what this is. It's like a cardboard, it's like a string of cardboard, I don't know. Um, but these ties are a lot easier to get undone than everything else that Mattel usually uses. So see, that was so easy to just get her out of there. It took like five seconds. And I have these stands, the Kaiser doll stands. I love these Kaiser stands. They're my favorites. And oh, how am I gonna get the stand on her? She's got these big, big old wings on her. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, there's glitter getting everywhere. How do I get the stand on her? Can I like lift these up to put it like right underneath? Oh, there we go. There we go. I figured it out. Okay. Without further ado. Oh, that's not. Oh. Oh. She's so rigid. Here's Tinkerbell. So let's go ahead and start. She has. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's the Disney Store problem. I'll get. I'm sorry. I'll say it. So. She has um, this blonde hair, and it's just tied up in a bun with her little bangs down the side. They're gelled, but they're really pretty, the gelled. Um, she's got the white skin, obviously, because that's the color of her skin. She's got these blue eyes with, like, cartini eyes and eyebrows. I love the Disney Store eyes. I just love them so much. I don't know. It just gives them kind of, like, I don't know, anime who look. And these uh, pink pinkish lips. And she has, like, elf ears because she's a fairy, obviously. So that's pretty cute. And then, so her body's made out of hard plastic, but it's like kind of rubbery, if that, it's like rubbery kind of, if that makes sense. And wait. Okay, now. Um, and then she's got this green dress. It's like just a green dress with these leaf cutouts on the bottom and um, 
it's glittery and then underneath that there's another layer and it's just like this iridescent holographic material and then we've got her legs they're just rubbery legs with bend and snap joints and um the disney store doll problem i call it the disney store problem because i only have this problem with my disney stores with the rubber door dolls with the rubbery legs which i've only ever had one before and she had this problem and so yeah um here's the second one with that problem there's glitter all over her legs and it just doesn't want to come off for whatever reason and it is all over my hand now too so uh, but yeah and whenever i say she's rigid it's like kind of hard to pose her i don't know it's like i don't know but yeah so here is oh i didn't even show you her wings she also has these big wings as you can see and they're just blue with the little design in there um they're pretty cute she's pretty cute i love her i mean she's sneaker bound so everybody loves her and then her shoes are just these green flats with the big puffs on them so that is tinkerbell tink whatever you want to call it there's glitter all over her stand there's glitter all over my desk oh my gosh aurora looks like she has glitter too here's aurora or sleeping beauty um she it's a picture of her picture of her brush a picture of her castle that she lives in a picture of the spindle that she pricked her finger on i really want to watch sleeping beauty now that's what i'm doing tonight sleeping beauty uh here's a picture of a tree and some roses and then here's a picture of her with her castle and that same tree and then oh also the spindle and on my back has got her and her prince charming the, how many prince charmings are there in the disney universe because there's at least like three i think send aurora's prince charming cinderella's prince charming who else has a prince charming snow white also has a prince charming i think so there's three is there any more that's crazy anyways um Wait, it says Disney Small World on there. That's kind of cute. Fast food packaging. I love it. And then open her up. And I hope she doesn't fall out. I'm pulling her out backwards so she don't. So on the top, it says Disney Princess. You can't see. Oh, it's upside down. It says Disney Princess. It's got like this, that stuff. But here she is. I'm going to move her head so that you can see her better. It's um like a castle kind of thing. And then you open it up. I love this plastic free packaging. It's kind of fun and it's so easy to unbox. I'll go ahead and pick her out. Oh wait, I didn't show you guys Tinkerbell's hairbrush. I'll show you Tinkerbell's hairbrush in a second. Stop picking with hairbrushes for a second. Uh, uh. Um, it's just like the background of the castle. I'm gonna throw that box away because it's like in my way. There we go. There we go. Here's Tink's brush. It just says Disney. Oh, it says Disney Parks on it. <coughs> But you can buy this on Shop Disney, so I guess they're made for the parks, though, because I think the parks are the only, like, actual store you can get them in, and other than that, you have to go to Shop Disney. Because I don't think they do the Disney stores anymore, like, in the malls and stuff. I used to love going to the Disney store. Anyways, um, yeah, it's got, like, a little castle, and it's just got, like, a little crown and a little bow, and it's just this green brush. It's really cute. You can't really brush Tinkerbell's hair, though, so I don't know what the real point was, but, Yeah. Let's go ahead and get Aurora out of her packaging. Um, oh, and she isn't even held in with a plastic tie. She's just held in by the feet sees of her feet. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody. There she is. She's so freaking beautiful. I love her. And she does not have the Disney store problem, thankfully, because her legs are all closed up um, in a dress. So that's good. I hate dolls with that Disney store problem. And... Her hair is literally elastic banded to her arms. So where are my clippies? Do I have any over here? Here's some more. I've got to like, I hate this. Is her hair greasy? Oh. Oh no, it's just gelled. Ugh. Ugh, I love the curls, but Disney, if you're gonna gel your doll's hair, what is the point of a hairbrush? That's all I'm asking. Anyways, she's still pretty though. I love her. And I love the quality because I was scared for the state of Disney dolls when I seen Mattel's quality with them. But apparently the Disney store dolls are the more like premium quality, premium quality. Um, because the Mattel dolls are for like lower income families. I found out via Twitter because I asked, because I was curious. Anyways, here's Aurora. She got this beautiful like almost golden kind of blonde hair so beautiful like look at that hair i don't know what this is but i love it and then um turn around she's got her little bangs 
and this crown in her hair and it's like a gold shiny um pl it's a plastic crown but it's like metallic you know and it's so freaking cute and i love it and then she's got obviously her white skin with like purple eyes and like these lips that are a similar color to tinkerbell it's just a little bit darker and then she's got normal ears obviously because she's not an elf and then she's got this necklace which is the same pl metallic plastic as the crown so pretty and then she's got this dress and it's just the aurora dress and it's like this dark pink with a white collar and the sleeves are a light pink and the little what is this called this thing is a light pink and dark pink dark pink with a uh, silver glitter and it's like roses and leaves and stuff and it's so cute look at that print it's so freaking cute and then under there, she's also been in snap knees and everything, but she has these pink flats on, which is something I never really liked about the, the, the Disney store dolls, that they have flat feet, and it's like, why are their feet flat, you know? But, yeah, and then her comb is the exact same as Tink's, it just is gold, it says Disney Parks on it. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, this, I knew this wasn't gonna be a very long video, that's why I put them both in the same, same video, but I mean, they are just, they are just so stinking cute. Look at them. Okay, we got Aurora and Tinkerbell. I love them. I am definitely going to have to order more Disney Store dolls in the future. Um, you can get them on Shop Disney, on Amazon, I believe, and in the parks. Uh, mm, what's going on there? So yeah, the, um, I don't know if there's anywhere else you can get them. I, I don't know. But yeah so here is aurora i literally love her oh my gosh um so me and aurora hope you guys have an oh i forgot to tell you their articulation points um so they articulate at the head shoulders elbows wrists at the hip and then they've got the bend and snap at the knee um but I'm actually terrified to use bend and snap joints because I broke one one time and eventually it found her way through the plastic of her leg and there's just a piece of plastic down of her leg. So, yeah. A poor Ariel. Anyways, yeah. There they are. I literally love them. Uh, and let me go ahead and check the dates on these because I just had a realization that... <laughs> but these dolls might be the same as... um They were before... Um, they, uh, th th these dolls might not have changed in a few years because the Ariel that they had on display at the store, um, I think it was the, it was the store at Animal Kingdom, where are these? She looked just, like, literally exactly the same as the d Ariel doll I had in, like, a long time ago. Like, l more than five years ago, they looked the same, so. They might be the, they might just be the same, because I know that they have the business that needs and everything. So, yeah, anyways, here is Aurora, and here is Tinkerbell, and I'm about to go watch Sleeping Beauty, because why not? Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you guys were like, oh, I'm going to Disney, let me see what the dogs are like, or maybe you guys were like, just curious or something, I don't know. But I hope this gave you some kind of insight into that, so, yeah. Um, bye guys.